Hello everyone and welcome to <laughs> Theme Park Coasting and today we're over here at the Haunted Castle which is Warwick Castle's Halloween event for 2019 and with me today we've got the, uh, Jade Austin, mm. Adam Derrick, Hi. my parents, uncles and the iconic Hugo Garrett. Hello everybody and you know what I'm repping today the wow. Fright Nights gloves. Oh, and not ten pounds. I had to buy it when I went, otherwise your hands were free off. But if you are still okay, actually, I don't know when this vlog's gonna come out, but I hope people manage to get these gloves because they They're are warm. And also, this is your finished. first time over at Warwick Castle. Yeah, it's gonna be amazing, and we're gonna see all of his first time oh, actions inside fun. there. And if you want to join Tom with some knighthood, go and subscribe by clicking that red button down there and also, to make sure you're very knightly. And also, also make sure you do hit that bell because otherwise we're going to put you in a torture chamber. Yes, and we'll show you the dungeons in a bit. And if you don't click the bell, down in the dungeons you go. So it's your decision guys, subscribe, click the bell or the dungeons. Or we'll find out in a sec as we now enter the haunted. Castle. Oh, that's a horrible history, mate. And here we go into the castle itself and just about to get our tickets for amazing today. But your first reaction, Sugar, what do you think so far about this castle? Well, obviously, because it's, well, I mean, Halloween's over right now, but the, the, the events are still happening. So it's, it's filled a lot with, like, the Halloween -y things. It's the haunted castle, obviously. But you know what? I'm looking forward to get just, I'm looking forward to just <laughs> explore the castle and then do mazes. Yeah, and are you guys excited as well? Yeah. And Jaden? Yeah, it's going really good. Uh, obviously, last year it was one of my favourite Halloween events. This year, I mean, Scarefest was pretty good, but let's see if this beats Scarefest this year. Yeah, like I said, I've always loved this. These aren't the most popular videos, so well done for watching this. Another view on the channel, but just come down here and reading these mazes. And there's some new ones as well this year because last year, Seance pushed me over the limit, and the House of Acts and stuff was just amazing. Yeah, but yeah, this yeah. year, you got Paranormal <laughs> Encounters doing too good, Junior Ghost Hunt, not fussed about, but also they've got amazing in the King's Maker building. I forgot the name of it, but I'll find out for you guys later. So at the moment, we're just going to go and get the tickets for the mazes, see the times, and see you in a bit. <laughs> We just did the, the paranormal <laughs> encounters, <laughs> and I give a uh, seven out of ten because what castle it is. Seven. I know you guys are not agree. That's, that's a bit too high if I I'm being honest. Can I give my review now? Uh, yeah, go give yours here. All right, the the actual attraction itself. Can I give spoilers? Yeah, you got then spoilers for that. If you want to skip this spoiler, then just skip to whatever point it gets to. Um, but I am gonna say it was nicely themed, and it was it was creepy because it did feel like you were, you know, hunting the paranormal. But I mean, <laughs> there were TV screens, which I don't know. They played a story; it wasn't massively scary. The thing that made up for it for me was the ending. Yeah, the ending was really that good. That was scary. And we're now heading into the dungeon, so the real dungeon, not the but, but not one. the ten pound one. Yeah, no, ten, well, because the guy said it was ten pounds for Merlin Pass. So we're going to recheck that later on. But yeah, the maze itself, you wouldn't mind like those TV screens. So we'll be but then afterwards, the you kind of like go through them and then all the lives turn out and they keep flashing and people go in your face. But I need to watch my head down here because. Here we go down into the dungeons. Yeah, no, this is where you go if you don't hit the bell. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Be, who got your non bell clicker? Come down here with me. No, I, I always get to that bell. Yeah, here we go down. So, as you may not have known, War Castle is actually a real castle in the older days, which is now taken over, of course, by Merlin. But this is actually the real dungeon that was down here. And, yeah, here you go. Tell them how you need to click that bell, otherwise, the course going to come into. Depends, depending on what you do, go to the theme park coasting page, there'll be a subscribe, next to subscribe, if you do press subscribe, next to it there'll be a bit, a bit of a bell icon. If you do that, you're an absolute legend and you won't end up, you won't make yourself end up here. Otherwise, oh, we're coming for you. <laughs> we're coming for you. And, yeah, Jane, what did you think of Paranormal Counters? It was good, it was funny because it was meant to be like the scary, one of the scariest mazes here, but I think the ending was good, but there was like 10 hours of videos, I'm joking, there was like... But the maze was like 9 minutes long, yeah. so it was there was like 30 seconds of the end. The end was my favourite. Yeah, well, compared to the House of Wax, I think that was good, but just like, yeah. I, I feel fair the House of Wax, I think. But yeah, he's another one, this is the worst thing. So who goes, who goes? If you don't subscribe, do you know where you end click up? the bell, you're you going to end, end up, up down, down there. there. I know. And we all know you don't want that bell. I just hit my head. You don't, don't want that either. <laughs> you don't want that either. But just make sure you click that bell, otherwise, we won't be happy. You go, because you click the bell. I did, sir. You may come through. Yes, thank you. I'm even too small for this whole Jayden, did you click the bell? Of course I did. 
you may come through. <laughs> Uncle Oz, did you click a bell? <laughs> Uncle Oz, did you click a bell? Did you click a bell? No. Uh oh, you're stuck in. See you guys. Bye. <laughs> One maze done and the dungeons, but now we're going into horrible histories, which yeah. is a family sort of maze. It's round here. The whole of the 365 oh, days of Walk Castle is open. Yeah, and yeah. it's actually so really, really good. Yeah, but yeah. Here you go. Hey, look at the horrible history, mate. Yeah, I used to love watching horrible histories when I was younger. But I don't know. I've heard this isn't very scary, but you know what? I don't really mind. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of fun where you kind of go through. Of course, you know about history. And you stand your passport. And at the end, I think you get a pop by or something. So here's the passport. That you get. Yeah. So, oh, and, oh, no, come on, here you go, what, what country are you traveling to? Yeah. Come on, here you go, let's go. All right. All right, what's in this? Uh, uh, vicious Vikings storming two. Normans, measly Middle Ages, terrifying Tudors, slimy Stuarts, and frightful First World Whoa. War. And heads are going to go first, Jaden. Pick a number between one and five. Do not look. Pick a number between one and five. Three. One, two, three. We're going to fight for the first war. Let's go. That's that way. And hopefully, Tom can know how to read signs. Boo! <laughs> how are you? You go. How tall are you? You're too tall. For this attraction. Well, that was fun. We got honestly lost like so many times in that. Like, we we're doing it, we we're going really well, racing through them all, and then. Oh, are we? And now at the end, they're trying to get through here. Hugo's having great fun. Adam, go on through. What did you think of all the history maze? What do you think of it? Go on. Yeah, I really enjoyed what we issue maze. Uh, it's always a good maze. Let's not do this! Uh, and yeah, oh. it's amazing. And Jaden, when you come through, what do you think of the whole maze? Uh, yeah, it's good. I, I like, like it. Like a bush tucker trial! It's fun. <laughs> what do you think of it? Huh? What do you think of it? I mean, it's good for families, but you know, it wasn't very scary. Oh, a cat! A cat. There's a cat! Where? Meow! Where? <laughs> <laughs> Yum, 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 Are you obsessed with cats, Hugo? I like cats, You could If you just stopped talking to me, then you thought the cats were interesting. Right, okay, 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 fine. Here's a little backstory. I've got a cat at home. She's lovely. I love her to bits. But I do still prefer dogs. But I just saw the cat, and I don't care. I love just stroking cats. That might sound a bit weird. Don't take it like that, if you're not on and about. But, you know. Yeah. Well, you could have ended. She just left us. She just left us, Hugo. I thought, oh, my God, it's a cat. Cat is a cat. It's a cat. It's a cat. I'm fine. We're now going to go over towards the most child-friendly maze over here at Warwick Castle, which is the Haunted Hallows, which is a walk attraction. They're going to bring a camera through here for you guys. But we're actually a queue starting to form outside of here, and it actually opens in like four minutes, doesn't it, Hugo? Uh, it does. <laughs> and uh, do you know what? Again, this is one of the mazes I don't really expect too much. I think it has been like a junior sort of maze. So I'm not expecting big scares, but as long as there's actors and there's a big, like, ambiance or whatever, then I'm happy. <laughs> That's some. That's a nice game. Myself. Oh. oh. Right, I'm doing it. Actually, if you work this time, you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Right. Ah! Told you it worked. That, that, that worked. That's right. It worked this time. Oh, can you at least keep in the bit? Where I was like, oh yeah, just two or two on the sides. <laughs> <laughs> This is so scary! Witches this way, there's witches oh, this way! Oh, 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 oh. Creek free! Ah, wait, wait, what am I looking at? Which way are we going? Oh, there's a witch! Here we go. I don't know what you thought of that, but I absolutely got scared, it was so funny. We were joking about like, ooh, scary stuff, I don't know what I showed you on Do you know it, what, I even warned you. <laughs> you warned me, I don't know about, I don't know what Adam managed to get out of it, because Adam was filming me go for it. But, just that ending with it, and then he just tells, oh my god. I literally said there's a grass man to you. Well, yeah, I was, I was doing your thoughts. And then she went, oh, that's what And I was like, oh. 
I know, I know. I'm, I'm going to get some comments down below just saying what the hell you did. And look, if you look over here, they've started to get the hologram of the haunted castle. And yeah, and I don't know actually how dark it's going to be when we get to see it because it is closing at 5 o'clock today, which is a bit disappointing. But it is Saturday and England, World Cup, lost it. So we're not going to lose our vlog though because we're going to carry on this for you guys. But we're now going to go over towards, hopefully, the Mighty Treasury Day show because it's only on one day. Here and I remember coming here as a child, going into a castle. I do it quite a lot when I was younger before I started the channel. And they used to have a fireball, so the boys are short, she was fire. However, they actually hit the boathouse, so it burnt down. So now we're just using the metal ball, but also it's a great show to watch. So we're now going to get down and watch the mighty Trevor J. Trevor J. Paul Port Burger. Trevor J. What would you do? Do you go? Yes, burger. Honestly, if you haven't come to Warwick Castle, get yourself one of these. Yeah, it's actually just behind, just inside the castle. It is called, I think, Roast in the Barn or something. It has Roast in the name. But get it with gravy. Oh, it's absolutely amazing. And James, he's Norios. Double cream. Yes. Yeah, and actually, we did find out but the Trevor J will not be launched today because something to be on the floods or weather conditions. So we are going to have to put on that on, I don't know what I'm going to say, but we're going to have to not watch up today. But we are listening to you in the background, we are listening to it and just eat our food and give, our, give a food review. And there is the restaurant to get it from. And something really weird, there's water there and it used to actually be going outside of the town, which is really weird. But where are we going now, Hugo? We're we going on the tower walk up to the top of the tower. The most horrible walk in the whole theme park. <laughs> well, I was thinking like it's now a castle. I don't know this because I haven't done it. You have to walk <laughs> up <laughs> over 500 <laughs> steps throughout all of this, including <laughs> low ceilings, <laughs> doorways, oh, uneven <laughs> steps, right. low <laughs> light levels, we'll it, and spiral oh, staircases. Oh, Do you know where I got that from? The health and safety notice. Oh, <laughs> but there's a queue to get in here, yeah. and we're going to see you as we go up the castle. It's like the most unsafe walk I've ever done up some stairs. Come on Jaden, push it! Push it! Go, go Jaden! Here at the theme park coaster we do like our exercise. We do. <laughs> which is why we're going up these massive stairs. And Jaden's counting up for us which is very nice. So, he's counting the steps. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we're going to see How much steps are we on right now? 56. 56 steps. Second time already up here. Oh my goodness. My legs are hurting and I've got from literally down there. I don't know what's happening. Whoa, the view though. Up here. And the view is pretty cool, isn't it? Amazing. And everyone's cheering or screaming, one of those two. <laughs> as well as the barrier. We're starting to get up for the new raid, which we're going to be doing very shortly. And I know I'm out of breath and I know I'm the most unfit person in the world because I just had a pool pool burger and I can't walk up 50 steps. Oh. But we're now going to go guys tower, which is the yes. tower, yes. which is kind of like that. Welcome to Hugo Park. <laughs> Here we are now at the top of the castle and we can't be filming a coaster unless we show you a theme park every single video. Yeah. And this is why we're going to show you a theme park right now. And actually, uh, two vlogs ago from over here at Warwick Castle, I think in around 2018 we showed you this theme park. But yeah, if I zoom in now, you'll be able to see Warwick Fun Park, which is... It's very fun. It's a carousel, a little junior runway mine train there. Oh, and pause the image in your bed because it oh, is quite really a distance away. And yeah. yeah, awesome view from up here, but just very, very good. wow. But something that when you're up here and you always think to yourself is, I've got to go back down. You and like that's what we're going to do. Like do you guys like my but yeah, I, I didn't want to fall down. Yeah, we like your house, Hugo. Yeah, uh, basically, the story is, I spent so much money building those stairs, I can't build any furniture. So. Exactly. You, you can stand up here, don't you? Yeah, I just stand up here, admire the views, uh, try to see. Uh, Stealth for me, still no luck. I would no, no. <laughs> if anyone's ever fell down there. Well, I'm pretty sure I haven't because it looks pretty strong. But yeah. we'll find out if I fall down in three, two, one, one. Don't look down. Hello. 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 I'm a bit dizzy after that, you know. Two, two, two. Oh. I think it's our five hundred. Give me a work work. Give me a wave. Right, <laughs> Give us a wave. I think he's wrong then. 970. 75, 80, 81, 82, 84, 87, 89, 90, 93, 90. Well done. And Jaden, how many steps did we do? Uh, 409. 409. There you go. 
a long and tiring walk. However, it says it's like a 500 on the warning sign. It's 409 or around 400. Day one of completely right down him. But yeah, that was really really cool. And we're not up there. I've got a really bad camera on my legs, so I'm walking slow and vlogging for you guys. But nevertheless, that was really really good fun. And we are going to check again with the dungeons. As the guys get over 10 pounds for Merlin pass holders, which I'm not sure if that's true or not. But if not, we're going to go into it as well as doing the Dead of Night, which is meant to be Warwick Castle's most creepiest and scariest Halloween made for 2019. And yeah, so this is really good so far. We've only done one stuff on May, so hopefully we can try some more kids ones as well as Hugo wants to do all of that. But I don't know who goes at the moment, I think he's going to get a drink. And we're going to see you as we head inside, probably the castle, to show you around. Got his thing. What a shame it came to an end. Oh, I get bored of that. I honestly don't. I just don't see the point of walking around a house when I can just walk. But it is Hugo's house, of course. Yeah, 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 it's all my house. I paid so much money for that. Why didn't you get any TVs in it, Hugo? Because, you know, I like the old fashioned style of just looking out the window. You know what? I do feel yeah, like that, watching that is a very TV. fascinating. Yeah, very fascinating. I and if you do want to watch TV, go into Paranormal Encounters because there's a few TVs in there. Hours of Paranormal um, Encounters. Who go? I think I'll go to the top of a towel more than go for a towel on my counters. Oh, honestly, you get your exercise done. Yeah, yeah exercise. That. My legs are actually killing at the moment. I but, Cal and Archie over a haunted castle. We're going to be heading up of a castle. A haunted castle? No, not haunted. It's just a tower. Let's go. What are we doing now, guys? We're just walking right now. Walk. I don't really know where we're going. We're going up just up there. We've done most of it already. Oh, red light scary. Why red not? light is bad. Bad sign. And after this, we're going to head back in towards the kids maze and then go over towards the mentally most the scary maze, maze over here as well as the dungeon because I wasn't at the start well I said I was wrong the guy on the, on the, guy on the information box the first he's meant to know everything was wrong so we haven't got tickets on the dungeons we're going to get around to it's going to be start at four and it is around quarter past three now I don't know if we're going to actually get on it or not but yeah we have made it to Mount Everest no it's just a, just a mountain well it's not a mountain it's a hill but here we go, you guys, what do you think of the view? Not bad. Not bad at all. Not, not and it has less walking than the other towers do. Yeah, so, I mean, alternatively, it is better. So. And, it, and it actually is a great place to watch Trebuchet show from. Like if you ever want to, if Trebuchet gets fixed again, as it wasn't fixed today, you can stand here and watch it from up here. That's really cool from up here. Shame we're not going to get to experience that, but you know. Yeah, hopefully next time we come back here, we will be able to. Yeah. Really so. Hopefully. Yeah, and like I said, it's a great baseball castle. It's one of the only things I actually film a vlog out for you guys, which isn't related to the theme park, but it is owned by Merlin as well. So if you do have a Merlin pass, come down here, get it for a castle. It's open all the time around the year, but I don't think it's a haunted castle, it's the best time to head over here. And I think we do two vlogs a year around here. I think it's usually rented one. But yeah. Let's go back down that way or what? Let's go back to where we came down. Because you're now going to head over towards the family maze. Yay! Boom. Haunted Hollow. Or maybe not. We're going to go into the Dark Knight, which dead is of night, one of the Dead of Night, sorry, my mistake. This is actually one of the scarier mazes over here from the Haunted Castle. And the queue looks pretty short from over here. So, Hugo, are you nervous about this? I, I am, because I just don't know what to expect, and I don't really know what's happening over here. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. I am actually a bit nervous about this as well. But here we go into the King's Major building and into the Dark of the Night. Wow, what do you think about it, Hugo? Okay, to be fair, I may have given it a bit too much harm when I just came out, but that was good. There were some good scares in there. But do you know what I would have liked if it happened? I would have liked that to be a free flow maze where the actors can touch you, but it was a conga line. And separate you, what do you call it? Yeah, and separate you, but there was a conga line and the actors didn't touch you. But there were some really good scares in there, actually. Yeah, I know. People like ran down and screaming. Yeah, so, but do you know what? Actually, hang on, I didn't like. I know you probably might have already shared on this. Some of the actors, they look like mannequins. They but they won. They were actual real life. And they just came to life. That was scary. Okay, yeah. So, look at that now. So, the main itself is inside of the King's Maker building, which is a building which normally is a mannequin tour, talking about the history of the castle. And scares on this maze, yeah, it scares me just the mannequins alone. We're going to the parents to see us, because we don't know who they are. Uh, but the maze itself was, yeah, I would say it was scary. And 
I wouldn't say it's like more it's scary than that wax or like before, but more scary than the other one. If I was to compare it to a Thought Park maze, I'd say that's more like Living Nightmare, Walking Dead, Living Nightmare sort of levels. Yeah, like I said, it is recommended for 12 plus, but yeah, I would do it probably if like a brave 10 year old. And Jane is only 11. I think the dungeons are like um. I think the dungeons are like platform 15 ones. Nah. 15 this year? Yeah, probably this year, definitely, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, about the uh, maids and shit, it's like, that's gay, I'll tell you, I'll give you that. But I actually prefer last year's seance, because even though that's it wasn't meant, yeah. probably a scam, it was just more different, and it kind of had make it more like for a park now, but I liked how different it was the years before, so. Yeah, I wish I could be towards the car strategy though as well. However, we're now heading over towards the kids maze over here at the park. What did you two think of that? <laughs> yeah, it was okay. It was right. What did you give out of ten? Out of ten? Yeah. Three. Yeah. Four and no. three out of ten. It's meant to be the scariest thing here, but it's like not really. No. I think um, last year was much better here. But... Scariest thing here is the car park charge. Yeah, ten pounds yes, for that. And even though you are no. Merlin pass holders. We have to pay it's ten pounds because the other car park was flooded. <laughs> that is true. Scary. You're the scariest thing here. Don't worry, you're the scariest thing here. However, we are going to be in the dungeons in a bit, and you can see I have a gesture where for the dungeons. But as I promised you earlier, we're now going to go into the kids' maze, which is the haunted hammer. Yeah. Come on, get your head chopped off. You have to get your head chopped off. You want your head chopped off? Actually, oh, you do. Look at it. Oh, don't get, don't get out that. Yeah, and we have just finished the Haunted Hallows for the second time round. Didn't get as scared as in the first time, because I'm very brave now. However, it is now, whoa, a dungeon's time. I just took a very little step down there. Yeah. But yeah, Adam, you did the Haunted Hallows, didn't you? Yeah, I did the Haunted Hallows, I did the Haunted Hallows, the Haunted Hallows, the Um, so, my reviews on them. Haunted Hallows is a very, very good maze. It's like, very for youngsters and families and stuff. But, the problem is about the uh, whole history maze, is that the, some of the props are broken now. And we were saying, I think I should refurbish it a bit more now because it, it came in 2014, I think, and it's not amazing now, in truth. It's good, it's still good, but it's not great. Yeah, I do agree with you, like I said. I was going around the day and like, half a sandbag from the World War section is now covered up with wood, and it's just like it needs a refurb. I don't, I like it, but I don't want it to be taken down, but I just think there needs to be something else added to it just to make it much better as well. As refurbishing some of the sandbags from inside the world, I just love that. Oh, and yeah, cute. but when I go inside the, uh, the dungeons, and this is Hugo's first time in the dungeons, but as he's back there, I'm not going to run to him because I was doing something. But Jaden, <laughs> you love the dungeons, don't you? Because we've done the London yeah. dungeons as well as one over here. So are you looking forward to doing the dungeons? Yeah, yeah, the sandbags are sandbags. And Hugo, yeah, this is your first dungeon, so are you excited? Yeah, obviously, I'm not really, again, like most of the mazes I've done today, I'm not too sure what to expect. Be my first dungeon. Shame it's not the London dungeons, but I mean, I'm still really looking forward to it. Yeah, I do agree with you. And here we go into the castle and into the dungeons. <laughs> That was the castle dungeon and actually one of the best times I've ever done that over here at Warwick Castle. But Hugo, what did you think of that for your wow, first ever well, dungeons? Dungeons? Oh, that was a really fun experience, I do have to say. It's unlike anything I've done, the interaction I would say is extremely good and it's funny. Like it's it's a mix between being scared and actually like laughing, which I think is amazing. And my favourite bit has to be the torture bit. The jokes in there was so good. 
And just like the whole atmosphere, it was actually just very good. I can't wait to do ones in London. What's the hologram vlog? But yeah. <laughs> do you think it's worth £10? Like, because the normal price for it, if you haven't got a mobile, it's £10. Depends how... I'd say I'd spend £10 if you want to do the London one. Yeah, the London one's way better. I'd well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the London one, which you're going to head hopefully to on Hugo's birthday, also includes a boat ride and a drop tower. The so stations of that London now. vlog. But yeah, that looks amazing over here. And we're now going to see you as it comes towards the end of the day. But Jaden, what do you think of the dungeons? Oh, it was absolutely amazing. I always love the dungeons. At the end, it was fun. Although, one, one thing I do have to say, they do they do force you to turn your phones yeah, off. No. So, yeah, just as a head, I did on. ask, do I actually have to turn it off? Can I not put it on silent? She was like, no. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, but we're now going to head over. We're now going to finish the vlog very shortly. Oh, yeah, a haunted castle. <laughs> Here we are now outside of the park and just about to go into the coach car park where our car is parked because we spent over £10 getting it parked. Which I've got to say at the start is a bit disappointing because we couldn't park in the overflow car park because it was flooded. So we're making us say £10 to park, which I think is a bit unfair. However, here we go. Your first day at Water Castle and it's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, honestly. Especially at Halloween. Even if it's not Halloween, I'd still say get yourself down here. But when it, Halloween comes, get yourself down here because the mazes, they were, okay, <laughs> I do have to admit, the, the more kiddie ones, obviously for us it's so like, yeah, but the, the Dead of Night, which we did, that was a really good maze, actually. That was really, like, full of scares, and the dungeon, obviously, was brilliant. I do really enjoy that. So just, you know, get yourself down here because you'll have an amazing day, trust me. Yeah, also, just to be sure, get the, um, get the pulled pork burger because, and with gravy with it, because you won't regret it. Yeah, best we did, thing I've had. We did see you at the start of the vlog, that's one of the best theme park foods. So come down here, do the dungeons, get a pool burger, and just having a great day over here at a haunted castle. And like I said before, this is not just open over in Halloween, it is open all year round. So if you ever want to come down here, come down here, it's Christmas events, Halloween events, Easter events, and so much more. And I really hope the Treble J opens again when the park opens very shortly. But Adam, you haven't done any mazes today, but you have done the kids' one, and what do you thought of your day over here? Yeah, I have really enjoyed the Haunted Castle again. It's been an amazing trip just to get down here. And my experience, just like the atmosphere of this, is amazing. And like, it's just, there's not a lot. I think, like, the um, Horrible History maze is a bit of a refurbishment. Like, that's my only query about it. Like, it's a bit of a refurbishment. Just to make it all ready again. But, yeah, overall today's been really good. So happy to get down here again. And yeah, it's been a really, really good day. Yeah. yeah, I do totally agree with what you're saying there. I do believe that the, the attraction needs to be referred towards it. And uh, to Adam, one more thing, could he? Yeah, can we, can we go over there so we see the signs? What signs? Oh no, it's a really long way around. It's going to go. Yeah, we'll show you next vlog. Stay tuned next vlog. And Jayla, what have you thought of the day today about oh the Haunted God, Castle? Absolutely amazing. Probably better than last year. I mean, the mazes were better last year than this year, but having Hugo with us was. Hey. And the, yeah, the mazes were good, the dungeons were good, especially at the end. Uh, I found the whole day amazing. I did buy a uh, resin, I bought this one. Yeah, we have got that one in fear. Right, really cool. nice. You haven't got that one. Yeah, we do. Well, no, you haven't. Yeah, we do. Because he's got that one. It's there. Oh. Mine was single. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 get it, get it, get it. It takes a while to get some jokes, however. This channel is full of jokes and it's full of fun. <laughs> and Uncle Lord, you're one of the biggest jokers. So what have you brought your day today? How good was my day? Yes. Good, because I brought some double creamed Oreos. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. Yes. I've only got one left. Live so you and me. split between three of you? No, I'm fine. But nice. tomorrow, <laughs> we are heading over towards Chesham Tomorrow Adventures with everyone that's here today, as well as the one and only Callum Duplessy to experience also, we the Halloween event over there. Something excited lined up, which I'm going to be recording. So. Have fun with that. <laughs> exactly, it is the VIP event of the closing of Amsterdam's event. And I won't be going along, but it's my grand's birthday. I've got seven tickets, and only two are coming, which is great. But I'm looking forward to it. But you're going to be the main vlog star. I'm you're, going to be, you're going to be holding this camera. Holding the camera, camera, talking to you guys. And doing the last ever ride on Amsterdam's So make event. sure you hit that bell again. Because if you don't, how are you going to know about this video? Exactly. And how will you know if you're inside the dungeons with no lights? So, you'll click the bell and then follow us and enjoy.
all content we have over here on theme park hosting. And if you don't enjoy theme parks, but you enjoy Rock Castle, don't worry, we've got loads more these lined up for you guys. I've got some vlogs to start about theme park, maybe our travel vlog to America, and much, much more. But this is all of us, got to get together, all from theme park hosting, and we're finished an awesome day over here at Warwick Castle! Castle.